Hi guys, so I wanted to make a quick video of my Electro Brew Controller. It's progressing beyond the wooden box. This was my original box. I, I didn't have a project box. So I just put it together and it, it kind of worked, but um, it's it's not very professional. It's just temporary. I was looking online for all kinds of different project boxes and they can vary from price from anywhere to 40 to 100, over $100 especially for the quality and the, the size of the box that I was interested in. So I had an old Power Mac G5 Power Mac, in case you're not familiar with these, these were the IBM Power PC processors. No one compiles software for these anymore. So I basically transfer everything here. At this moment, I have the PIT controller over here. And then uh, this works on standard 120 volts at the moment. Um, here's the temperature sensor goes in here the power for for this goes in here and then the uh, the heating element from the kettle comes in here through the front of the of the controller in the back we have the solid state relay connected to its heat sink and then connected to the top of this computer um, so any heat that's created, there's plenty of space to dissipate the heat everywhere here. This is the pit controller connected with its respective wires. And this was the original uh, power plate uh, because at the time I was using a wooden box, I, I, I went an extra step and created this kind of electrical safety box inside. Um, probably still a good idea that you're not touching anything with your hands or anything like that. But basically that's what I have. Um, there's a lot of online tutorials how to rip the internal guts from these G5 Power Macs. And let me tell you, it takes time. I just put on gloves and I ripped the majority of it out. Uh, I, I wasn't concerned with preserving anything and I recycled the electronics. So 